A very good morning to the panel judges. My name is Avinash, a Year 5 student from Segi's Dental Faculty, and today, on behalf of my teammates, I would like to share about the knowledge, attitude, and practices of dental undergraduate students on infection control in dental clinics during the COVID-19 pandemic. These are the contents that I'll be going by today. So, let's start things off with the introduction. What is COVID-19? Well, it's an infectious disease caused by the newly discovered SARS coronavirus 2, and it can spread through droplets of saliva as well as discharge from the nose, especially when sneezing. And although everyone can get it, it is more deadly, especially to elderly with underlying comorbidities. And the symptoms may vary from dry cough, fever, and tiredness, which could eventually lead to pneumonia, multi-organ failure, and death. So to prevent this, we have to avoid contact with infected persons, social distance with each other and as well as have constant hand washing and sanitization as well. In the year 2020, dental faculties were hit hard, especially by the shocking rates in which COVID-19 had spread. But in 2021, we plan to get back on our feet and practice safe dentistry. But this comes with trials and tribulations of its own in which the dental setting can actually act as a potential site for cross-contamination, especially because we cannot help but work in close proximities with the dental team as well as our patients and we constantly carry out aerosol generating procedures such as scaling which could transmit the virus, especially with inadequate disinfection. Being part of a dental teaching institution means we have larger clinics, more patients at a time, as well as more aerosol generated procedures in order for our students to complete their clinical skills as well as their quotas. Hence, it is undeniably imperative to maintain strict infection control to ensure the safety of our staff, students as well as patients. And in order to do this, it is essential to know the knowledge, attitude and practices of students. Which led us to our aim to assess the knowledge, attitude and practices of dental students regarding infection control in dental clinics during the COVID-19 times. And with our objectives in mind, we had to assess the existing knowledge, attitude and practice of our students, analyze the shortcomings, arrange the orientation, as well as prepare to treat patients in the new normal. And these were the materials and methods used. Our research was conducted in the Faculty of Dentistry, SEGI University, with the permission of the SEGI Ethics Committee to conduct a descriptive cross-sectional study consisting of the Year 3, Year 4 and Year 5 Clinical Years Dental students, which included all students from Year 3, Year 4 and Year 5 and excluded non-consenting participants, with the study period being October 2020 till November 2020 and using a validated questionnaire. This is a sample of the questionnaire that we used. Our questionnaire consisted of 34 close-ended questions which included the demographic details, 10 questions pertaining to knowledge, 14 pertaining to attitude, and 10 pertaining to the practices. And the validation for the content were done by the specialists at the Faculty of Dentistry, SEGI University. And the clarity was given by 10 students that had previously graduated and modifications were made based on their feedback. And the internal consistency showed a Cronbach's alpha value of 0.82. And the survey was disseminated using Google Forms and spread through email and WhatsApp. And once all the data was downloaded using Excel, we analyzed it using SPSS version 22 and descriptive statistics like percentages, means and standard deviations were used. And these were the results that we obtained. Off the bat, the demographic distribution for our research totaled up to 132 students that were each sent questionnaires, resulting in a 100% response rate. All the students were aged between 23 to 25 years old, with the mean age being 23.7 plus minus 0.3 years. 33.3% of the participants were males and 66.7% of the participants were females. 27.2% of the participants were Year 3 students and 36.4% of the participants were Year 4 and Year 5 students respectively. Our research topic stems across three different sections, knowledge, attitude, and practice. So let's start things off in the first section, knowledge. In the knowledge section, more than 95% of our participants have heard of COVID-19, knew that it was caused by a virus, spread through droplets, and also it has particular symptoms, and the elderly were particularly at more risk. Following this, only a measly 40% said that it was safe to practice dentistry during this pandemic, 97% said they were aware that aerosol could transmit the virus in clinics, 75% believed that masks were 100% protective, and 100% of people were aware of personal protective equipment. 
Moving on to the attitude side of things, 99.2% of participants agreed that it is important to take patients' history before treating them, 98.5% agreed that it is important to check patients' temperature before treating them, and 87.9% agreed that patients should only be treated on appointment basis only, and 70% agreed that it is important to wear double masks when treating patients. Moving on with things, 99% of participants agreed that it is important for patients to wash their hands before being treated. 95.5% agreed that it is important to use a pre-procedural rinse before undergoing any dental treatment. Half the participants agreed that all patients should undergo COVID-19 testing before being treated. And 55% agreed that sanitizers alone without hand washing will not help to rid the virus. Furthermore, 92.4% of participants felt at risk of contacting the virus while treating patients. Almost half of the participants were stressed to treat patients in clinics, and a measly 16% were willing to work in dental clinics during the pandemic. And finally, in the practices side of our research, we found out that 79% of our participants said that they would brief their patients on the phone prior to treatments, 99% said they would wear complete PPE before treating any patient, 92% said they would instruct their patients on proper infection control during dental procedures, and 99% said they would wash and sanitize their hands before every dental procedure. Following this, we found that 86% of our participants said they would maintain strict social distancing in clinics, 99% said they would don and doff in designated areas, 97% said they would use high vacuum suction for aerosol generating procedures, and 60% were able to follow the correct order of donning, and 25% were able to follow the correct order of doffing. So next up, let me go through the discussion of our research. COVID-19 is on the rise and doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon here in Malaysia. But be that as it may, universities have been granted the permission to carry out full-fledged clinical sessions as per usual. And we, as dental professionals, require close proximities with our patients. And thus, it is in the utmost importance that we increase the awareness about strict infection control protocols to our participants. Thus, our study was born to assess the existing knowledge, attitude and practices so that any lacuna could be filled up. From our research, we were able to draw that our participants were well versed about COVID-19 virus and this is essential when identifying any threat while treating a patient as well as taking necessary precautions. Some studies previously done in other countries showed that dentists had poor knowledge especially when it came to transmission and symptoms of the disease. However, these cannot be directly correlated to the dental students because they were of varying ages and may not be accessed to the same amount of information. Along with this, our participants also showed that they are well aware of cross-contamination sources, but this is to be expected as they are going to be healthcare professionals. But that also means that they have to be abreast with the latest information, guidelines and recommendations, especially in times of a pandemic. With that being said, 60% of our participants were not sure whether it was safe to practice dentistry, especially during this pandemic. And although previous guidelines tell us that only emergency dental care should be provided, it is clearly seen that the world is slowly opening up to its routine dental practice. And we especially noted this in Alucuna to our participants so that they could be properly aligned to the new guidelines and be prepared to treat patients as per usual. And while majority of our participants showed positive attitude when maintaining a good infection control, 50% of our students felt that all patients should undergo COVID-19 testing before undergoing dental treatment. And 50% felt stressed to treat patients during the pandemic. And only 15% were willing to treat patients. And this can show the level of fear, anxiety and stress felt by the dental students. These fears stem from the fact that COVID-19 could be transmitted asymptomatically during the recovery or carrier state between the dentist and the patient and eventually to their peers and families. But this is another area where the students need to be educated. And to end it all, our students also showed a good perception of the practices during COVID-19 pandemic where almost all our students were ready to adopt the right infection control protocols in clinics. A previous study on dental professionals found that 33% were unaware of adequate use of PPE and only 60% were aware of proper guidelines recommended by WHO. However, on our part, only 60 and 20% knew the correct order on donning and doffing, which definitely needed to be the area of concentration. 
And to sum it all, our participants had a good knowledge, positive attitude, and a good practice perception about infection control, although there may be some fears that needed to be addressed. COVID-19 has presented itself as a substantial risk for dental professionals and students worldwide, and we need to stick to strict guidelines and protocols to protect ourselves from the virus. But we have to get back on our feet to practice safe dentistry. This is a picture to illustrate the virtual role play video shown to our students after taking on our research. This is our list of references. I would like to thank you for listening to our presentation. I would also like to thank the Dean of Dental Faculty, the Student Research Facilitator, as well as everyone who participated in our research.